The Russians are making the same mistakes again. They are once again attacking with large columns of armored vehicles. This time, they aim to capture a small village called Berdichi in eastern Ukraine. Several columns of tanks were moving towards the village from different directions. The Ukrainians are successfully using artillery, not allowing the Russians to even come close. However, due to a shortage of artillery ammunition, Ukrainians are resorting to FPV drones and anti-tank missiles. All of this combined yields results. Russian columns of armored vehicles are being destroyed, and the crews are fleeing the battlefield in fear. But look here, one of the tanks still managed to break through, leaving behind many destroyed tanks. This tank collided with a previously damaged APC and stopped. Then the tank is struck by a Ukrainian drone, prompting the crew to quickly abandon it. When the Russians fled, Ukrainian intelligence became interested in this tank. The reason is that the tank is equipped with the latest Russian anti-drone system. At night, two brave Ukrainian soldiers infiltrated the gray zone to attempt to evacuate this tank for detailed analysis. They easily started the tank's engine and drove it behind their defensive line. Here they are, two brave Ukrainian tankmen. Thanks to them, Ukrainian engineers will now be able to understand how the Russian anti-drone system works in order to learn how to bypass it. Usually, the Russians install the anti-drone system on the lead tank in the column, and it protects the entire column from drones. But Ukrainian soldiers somehow always manage to find a way to overcome Russian anti-drone complexes. Therefore, every Russian attack ends in defeat. Look where this little Ukrainian drone is aiming. The strike was made in the gap between the turret and the hull of the tank. This was enough for the Russian tank to literally evaporate after the detonation of its ammunition. When Ukrainians manage to disable Russian anti-drone systems, they can easily destroy any number of Russian tanks and APCs. Typically, Ukrainians launch a swarm of FPV drones and rapidly destroy enemy armor, one unit after another. You won't believe it, but sometimes Ukrainian drone operators compete with each other to see who can destroy more tanks. Look, while one drone tries to penetrate the tank hatch, another Ukrainian drone strikes the tank. Ukrainian FPV drones are like a pack of sharks tearing apart their prey. As a result, in a very short period of time, the battlefield turns into a blazing cauldron littered with the debris of useless Russian scrap metal. The Russian tanks are completely defenseless and utterly useless on the battlefield in Ukraine. Over the past year, Russia has deployed several thousand tanks in combat, and all of them have been destroyed without bringing any significant advancement to Russia. Therefore, to protect their armored vehicles from Ukrainian FPV drones, the Russians are inventing new and seemingly strange methods of defense. Take a look at this example. The Russians covered the tank with several layers of wooden planks and installed an anti-drone protection system on top. This construction looks very funny, but nevertheless, this tank was able to complete its mission and somehow evade both artillery fire and FPV drones. I wouldn't be surprised if soon all Russian tanks look exactly like this. Now take a look at this scene. A Russian tank equipped with mine clearing equipment leads two APCs into the attack. The task is to capture the fortified Ukrainian position. They quickly reach the firing line and start firing machine guns at the Ukrainians. But at some point, they began to retreat without even disembarking the infantry. Perhaps they deemed the mission impossible. However, on the way back, the tank drove over a Ukrainian mine. 
Then this tank was torn apart by Ukrainian FPV drones. After some time, it exploded along with the ammunition. As for the second attempt, two surviving APCs advance, but the first one quickly hit a Ukrainian mine. The second APC tried to bypass the first one, but also hit a mine. The crew fled, abandoning the armored vehicles. After some time, the first APC exploded. The second one was attacked by FPV drones and also destroyed. A few days later, in the same location, the Russians attempted another similar operation to capture a Ukrainian bunker using the same tank. But once again, they suffered defeat. Watch how Ukrainian drones finish off the Russian vulnerable tank. This is how 99% of all Russian attacks end. The Ukrainians still employ fighter jets on the front lines to deliver precise strikes against concentrations of Russian forces. Typically, Russian soldiers gather in groups and take cover in abandoned buildings before launching an attack. It's exactly where Ukrainian rockets are aimed. Of course, the same task can be accomplished with a drone, as you can see in this video. Such a drone is capable of demolishing a brick house, but sometimes it's necessary to use rockets to reach the enemy further than drones can fly. This is an American GLSDB missile. This missile precisely targets its objectives, forcing the Russians to constantly use air defense systems to cover their troops. But Ukrainian aerial reconnaissance quickly spots them, tracks them, and hits them with HIMARS missiles. And sometimes with new long-range kamikaze drones that Ukraine produces independently. Now take a look at this interesting case these Russian artillerymen turned out to be very stupid. They often took photos and shared them on the internet. They even made a whole video detailing their positions, the layout of their ammunition, and much more. They also frequently filmed the process of their work, which allowed Ukrainian scouts to track their exact location. Then the coordinates were passed to the HIMARS team, which struck them with its precision missile. A similar story happened with other Russian guys. They launched reconnaissance drones but used a bright white van for their transportation, which was easily visible from a distance in sunny weather. The Ukrainians tracked their location where they lived and where their reconnaissance center was. And early in the morning, while they were still sleeping, a HIMARS missile flew to them. Surely, it was the last morning of their lives. Typically, sunny and cloudless weather easily facilitates the identification of other important targets. Look, this is the Russian air defense system Buk M3. Ukrainian intelligence discovered two installations located not far from each other. Unexpectedly for the Russians, a high Mars missile flew directly to the target and destroyed one of them. While the Russians were bustling around, the Ukrainians hit another installation. As a result, the Russians lost equipment worth millions of dollars in just half an hour. At this location, a barely noticeable self-propelled Howitzer 2S5 was discovered. And again, one HIMARS missile completely destroyed the target. Later, Russian soldiers posted a video on the internet, clearly showing the result all ammunition inside the howitzer exploded. Also, take a look at another interesting case. A Russian truck was transporting flammable substances, 
possibly gasoline, to the front line. A Ukrainian drone hit exactly where it needed to, 